Hey there, and welcome to the Jim Bob Drawing Show, where we draw cartoons and art just for fun. My name is Bobby Chu. And I'm Jim Bryson. All right, Jimmy, so let's see what the topic is for this week. We got... Mutant... Rogan! Classic. For some reason, that it just feels like this really cool, classic theme. So what were you thinking of when you first started doing this illustration? My original like thought was like, oh, mutant rodent, oh man, I'm going to make the weirdest mutant looking rat type thing with bulging eyes and huge crazy teeth and all kinds of craziness. And I sketched a few ideas and I was just not feeling it. Like it just didn't feel like enough of a story to it. Mm. So then I sort of thought, okay, let's say a rodent becomes a mutant, like wh what is it going to do? It's gonna go right to the cheese store. I love then, it. I love it. Yeah. It's like the cheese store owner's worst nightmare has come true. You know, it's it's, it's really cool seeing the evolution of the different ideas for each of these Jim Bob drawing show things. It's really gotten very narrative, right? Like it's a whole entire story instead of like just drawing that character or whatever. As soon as I don't feel like it has enough of a story, I kind of lose interest. And yeah, I, I try and put the most amount of thought into like what the story would be. I'll tell you a little secret. Uh, I don't totally enjoy painting rooms as much, so I try to like avoid them. So every time you draw an illustration that's in a room, uh, I am secretly thankful because like I wouldn't do that myself generally. So it gives oh. me practice. I never thought. So what is it about the room that you find sort of like? Ah, uh, is it uninteresting or is it just like? It's just big objects or spaces that are man-made there's a lot of accuracy to them. So if it's like a forest, you draw a tree a little crooked, it doesn't matter. But Yeah, I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I am definitely the same way. Anything where it's like too geometrically perfect makes me crazy to like have to go into that level of accuracy. Mm. You know what else is interesting is just like, you know, you could have taken the milk of dog, a cat, a buffalo, a whatever it is and some people they do have buffalo milk and stuff like that but most people went to the cow and then they took this milk that the baby cows drink right not even the adult cows drink and we aren't babies ourselves but we thought hey this will be useful let's see how many different ways we can actually consume this stuff and look at all the amazing different ways we're able to consume you know cow milk more specifically, just in terms of cheese. There's so many different kinds of cheese made from cow milk. Very weird. Many parts of the world look at us and think, you guys eat cheese, that's so gross. <laughs> like if you go to like Asia, like they don't really eat cheese there, right? No, not as much. You know, some places, not at all. So if I could talk a little bit about the color choices here, I knew that most of the stuff that's going to pop out is going to be yellow because of the cheese. So I made different shades of yellow as well. And the store itself, I was thinking if I was going to have a cheese store, I would have for sure elements that are warmer, so like the walls. But then for the floor, I would want something dark that contrasts with all the cheese and with the furniture. So I made it dark blue. The green of the mouse was on purpose because it's a mutant mouse, but also so that it will create a lot of nice contrast with the rest of the image and red eyes to help really contrast with the green of the fur. And then the glowing green was very important for me to make the goo coming out of the radioactive container there to be really glowing to get that idea across of a mutant mouse. Yeah, that's awesome. So if you like to draw, we encourage you to follow us at Jim Bob Drawing Show and do the prompts with us. Join in on the challenge and the fun. But before you do that, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel right now and then press the, the notification button. That way you will get instant notifications the next time we put out a new video, which will be next week. So see you guys next week. See ya.